again, personalized with printing and writing on over 50 different materials. So with that, we are Memory Keepers. It's definitely a brand in crafting that is synonymous with exceptional quality and great ideas in making crafting simple and easy. And this is a cinching toolkit that we're offering brand new on the day today. It is an entire bundle. So you're going to receive, of course, the cinch tool. You're also going to receive in here four of the binding wires. Two are, two are gonna be in white. Here they are in white. And then you have two of the binding wires that are in black. You're also gonna get a set of cinch wire cutters that are included in here. And all of your instructions and everything that you need. Uh, so you're gonna be able to personalize journals, perfect for scrapbooking, perfect for making individual little calendars. And we have a special guest, Ellie Dosdall is joining us via Skype as well uh, from her home, safe and sound. Ellie, it is very good to see you. Excited to hear about the brand new cinch maker from Memory Keeper. We are Memory Keepers. Yes, hi Lynn. I'm so happy to be here. And I'm really happy to bring you this tool. This is actually one of the tools that We Are Memory Keepers is best known for that allows you to bind books from all the way down to pocket notebooks of this size, all the way up to a 12 by 12 personal scrapbook album. Um, and the reason why it's called the Cinch is because it's really easy to use. It's surprisingly easy. So let me show you a few of the cool features as I demonstrate. I'm gonna just unlatch this and that's a great feature so you can store it a little with a little less uh, you know footprint in your um, craft room and that just um, fits right in there um, and then we're going to create an 8 by 8 album and I've already gone ahead and covered this piece of book board um, and by the way this book board the 8 by 8 comes with the kit so you get two sheets of the 8 by 8 book board which is what you need to make um, covers for an album. Um, we have directions printed directly here on the tool um, and instructions, also measurement guide. So you're going to first measure the spine of your book. And so this is eight inches. So I'm going to look on here and it says eight inches. And that means, sorry, eight inches. I'm reading this upside down. And that means you need to pull peg four. Here are your numbered pegs. So first I'm going to put this in the tool and I'm going to punch. And I want you to watch these pegs as I punch because they're going to go down at different times. And that is how the pressure is dispersed so that it's really easy to push this down. Now, if they were all going down at once, that would be really hard. And of course, I'm doing this backwards. So there it goes. And then we're going to slide this extension arm, which allows you to use material larger than six inches. And then we're going to place this right up against the guide here put it all the way to the back and there's a little alignment peg right there. You're going to slide down. Then you're going to pull peg four. Make sure I get that right. And then you're going to just press down and that's going to finish off your eight by eight cover. So we've got all of our holes there ready for binding. Now let's talk about the inside pages. So if you want to make a notebook, um, I've got 20 sheets of 20 pound um, copy paper here and I'm going to go ahead and punch these just the same as I did with the other cover. Slide it over, push the alignment peg down, pull peg four, and then I've got my pages done. Now what if I want to add some cardstock dividers to my album? I've got five sheets of cardstock here. You can punch up to five to seven sheets of cardstock depending on the thickness of your cardstock. Slide that over, push down your guide, pull pig four, and punch. So now your pages are ready. And let me show you what we're going to do next. Um, I've got some cinch wire. This is part of the kit that comes with it. And you're going to take a look at your holes and count how many holes you have once you've punched your pages and your covers. That's 15 holes. So I'm gonna count 15 prongs here on my um, wires. And that's where I'm gonna cut it with the included wire clippers. So I'm gonna put that right in there and just give that a little squeeze and cuts right off. And now I've got my wire ready. So included on the board is the wire rack here. That's where you're going to hang your wire so that you can easily 
um, place your um, covers and pages on there. So what we're gonna do is start with the back cover, which I already punched. We're gonna place that on, then we're gonna put our pages in. Like that, whoops, missed a little bit on the end there. And then we're gonna put the front cover on. Now, I'm gonna pull these off and here's where we're going to show you a little trick. Actually, I misaligned that. Okay, so we're going to do this one more time. <laughs> and what we're gonna do is we're gonna put the back cover, here's, here's how my books are gonna go, my book's gonna go. We're gonna take the back cover, slide it out and put it right over the front cover. And I'll show you why that needs to happen once we get the wire back in there because you don't want, you're gonna have a little gap, right? A gap between the prongs and... This is so clever. It's amazing that you can go and you're gonna, I know we just lost feed there for a second, but to be able to create, just like Ali is showing us, your own customized scrapbook. And then you could add, you know, again, your own sayings, your own pictures, but maybe it's gonna be a recipe book. Maybe it's gonna be, you can see here, you can customize, because you're getting four of the individual wires. You can do the verticals, like a little, you know, again, fun little calendars, which is so cute. So you can personalize those. How about, um, individual journals that we're showing you. So you're noticing all different sizes vertically or horizontally. And I know, Ali, I know we, we don't want to miss you because we were right at the end and this is so ingenious. Yes. So we have right. you back. We want to see the finished product. Yes. Okay, so we've got this lined up properly with the back cover on top of the front cover and then the pages. And now what we're gonna do is put it in the back of the machine. This is our center. It has an adjustable knob that you can push down and turn, and that will change this based on the size of the wire that you're using. This is one inch wire, so I've got it set at one inch. And then what I'm gonna do is line this wire up. It's like a C, and you want the C to be straight up and down. You don't want it to be tilted. There's a little dent right here, and you're gonna put your hand right in that dent to hold it in place and then you're gonna push down and that's gonna cinch your wire. Now we've got something that's just slightly bigger than, um, than the size of the cinch, so we're gonna need to do it one more time and then we've finished. Whoops, that didn't quite catch because I'm doing it upside down. But there you go, so now you take your back cover and see how that ah, flips over. Oh yes. 